So, uh, another example of that uh, totalitarian mind virus we have in the Epstein segment today, we have Lizzo. Oh. And I know in you're a thinking, minute, I'm going to need a cinnamon roll and an insulin shot for my diabetes. I know you guys are thinking, <laughs> how in the hell are these guys going to tie Lizzo? Big, big fan. With some historical lesson that uh, proves to us that the more things change, the more they stay the same, and also that Epstein didn't kill himself. Well, here it is. So if you haven't heard, it's been a pretty big news story this week, the first week of August 2023, that uh, Lizzo is not at all what she seems. She has built her brand on shocking, upbeat, powerful uh, music, woman. and she's a body positivity icon, and... She's just fantastic in every way you can possibly think of. Well, it turns out that this um, uh, this performer, artist, persona uh, is, uh, is its own shraman. Um, because Lizzo has been accused in a civil lawsuit. So again, just, just because this is a technical legal thing that it could be a judge Judy annoys case. me when I see people do it so I just I can't not remark on it here on this podcast is when people say haven't you ever heard of innocent until proven guilty <laughs> yeah you fucking moron in criminal cases this is a civil case so yes although none of this stuff has been proved yet the lawsuit has just She's been filed jail. and maybe she didn't do any of these things or whatever stop saying the fucking innocent until proven guilty thing this isn't a criminal case shut up or else you're like just more like the existential comics people. You're like, oh, I heard a funny little quip that makes me sound informed, so I'm going to say that and come to her defense. Like, it doesn't doesn't apply, so shut up. Anyway, back, sorry, that's, I hate it. It's, I get it. Everybody I is saying it. that. You're it's just, you. It's so annoying. You're so, you. Just be you, dog. What was she accused of? Uh, many things, in fact. She was accused of creating a hostile work environment. She was accused of sexual harassment. She was accused of discriminating or at least bullying on the basis of religion. She was accused of racial harassment, false imprisonment, interfer and interference with um, prospective economic advantage and other allegations. Dang. Now, are you saying that a member of the entertainment realm that couldn't hear a bad word about her and has only been told that she's the best thing ever would have... No accountability? <laughs> no accountability for her own actions or no, like, self-doubt or, like, self-critique that maybe she shouldn't be doing the thing to other people that they don't allow people to do to her? Or that she goes all over the media and the media rushes to her defense every time she's bullied online for her weight, um, that she does the exact same thing to people in her life. And you said she body shamed her dancers, right? Yes. So, two of the allegations that I want to focus on, because it really attacks her persona... Uh, head on is one is is kind of a, a marriage between hostile work environment and sexual harassment one of the allegations are that when she was in over i believe amsterdam uh she forced some of her dancers or other people on her team to eat bananas out of the vagina of a sorry i should have said the earmuffs for any kids listening to the show under the uh, hoo-ha of uh, of a dancer Against again you, against this person's will. First so. of all, don't you threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Second of all, to steal well, these are al these are accusations. But then again, we have to go back to their own verbiage and say we have to believe all women. Were these women making these accusations? Uh, I don't know. I do know that a couple of them were dancers, so I assume. I mean, I've never seen a Lizzo performance, but I assume the dancers. There might they're probably not all men, but right. Okay, yeah. so if it was a woman, we just have to believe her. Yeah. And so, um, anyway, so the other major accusation that I want to, before we move on to the historical lesson, is uh, Whoa, she, she allegedly uh, commented repeatedly and derisively on the weight of at least one or multiple of her dancers and suggested that uh, based on their weight, they weren't taking the job seriously and probably weren't fit to do what they needed to do and yada yada. That's yada. Like, so, that's like, isn't that funny? Isn't that grand? Calling your fucking stunt double, you need to lose a couple of pounds. It's like, yeah. that's literally the pot calling the kettle fat. Yeah. I don't get it. Like, to be so self unaware, isn't it just wonderful? Wouldn't you like to do that for a day? 
No, you wouldn't, because you'd go home at night and you'd reflect, and you'd be like, oh, those people probably think I'm an asshole. Yeah. And that doesn't feel good. Yeah. I don't like being told I'm an asshole. Well, see, but the thing is, that's a normal reaction that someone has that isn't catered to every second of their mm. life. It, it really is that iron sharpens iron thing. Yeah. It's because she has never been faced with some of these self-critical character-building experiences, like... Like looking in the mirror and saying, "Did I do the right thing there?" You know, that's what builds character. Look in many mirrors anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't if I was her. Most they'd probably break. Um, is that uh, she doesn't have to build any character because everybody around her is a yes man or woman, and she is constantly paraded through the media as well until now as more on that in a second as the greatest thing since sliced bread. And isn't she so wonderful? And people just hate her because yeah, she's really large. Fun. Um, she never had to build any character. And so, shocker, unaccountability with no character, turns out she is a complete uh, terror to work for and work with. Hmm. I know you're all shocked by that. I uh, just, it feels so good. It feels so good to see that happen. Yeah. When you know, you knew in your heart of hearts that she was nowhere near as wholesome. Of did she not. even, did she even pretend to Few be wholesome? Few people are. As fantastic as they as they either portray themselves or, especially in the case Except of celebrities, Rudd. as the as the media portray. Except for Paul Rudd, I said very few. I didn't say none. <laughs> Got you back, Brad. Um, so anyway, moving on. So on to the Epstein part of this thing. What what does Lizzo have to do with a, a historical lesson? And the lesson is actually what Lizzo is about ready to learn. Is the lesson of the French Revolution just as a brief, very brief trot through that historical event. As most of you will recall, this is actually one of the things that even in shitty public schools, they actually teach you the basics of it. Uh, they don't no exactly offense if you went to public schools. They don't exactly connect the dots for, well, I'm, it's not you, the student. It's the, you know, dereliction of duty right. from, you know, the bureaucrats that, you know, Keep all the, the curriculum. keep Excuse all me. the important oh, stuff from you so that you don't learn from history and right. find call to call them on their bullshit today. But anyway, as you'll recall from your elementary uh, teachings on the French Revolution, uh, there was this little thing called the Reign of Terror, where the people that ginned it up, led by an individual by the name Maximilien Robespierre, uh, said, "Listen." we got to cut off the head of the king and all the aristocrats because they're really kind of shitty and they're lording it over us and they're just not good people. And so we're going to cut all their heads off and then lo and behold, a year or so, a couple years go by and Robespierre finds himself under the guillotine. And you think of that as a just, oh, isn't that a coincidence, a little historical oddity? Well, no. Because that is the mind virus of leftism and, you know, why the French Revolution is particularly prescient today is our whole political ideas of left versus right comes out of the French Revolution. And this progressive left sort of totalitarian mind virus, uh, the types of people they are, are what Lizzo is going to experience right now. They are uh, moral relativists. So, depending on what's right or wrong is completely up to the circumstances and whatever makes them feel good. They have absolutely no loyalty at all. They have no grounding in anything that you could, um, that you could categorize as, you know, long-standing, you know, familiar, community, trustworthy relationships. They are about, get me what I want right now. Damn, you know, come what may, I don't care, damn it all. And as soon as you're not useful to me, in the French Revolution, literally, off with your head. But in Lizzo's case, you're out the window. So all the media, all the fawning, all the every time coming to her defense as some body positivity icon, if these allegations are proven and they get nastier as they go, as the week went on after these initial allegations were filed, oh. more dancers, more people started to come out oh. and say, they're courageous for doing this. I had a similar experience with them. Oh. So it ain't getting any better. And the more this stuff is water. actually proven, she's done in terms of being the darling of the How's media. How's that Ellen show going now? Ellen? Ellen. Oh, yeah. Ellen is you don't remember that? exactly like You don't this. remember yeah. that? She was the darling of the LGBTQ. She was so fun. Everyone had fun on her show. Then yeah. it came out that she's a fucking monster. And where's the Ellen show now? Yeah. 
So if it happened, and Ellen, you don't hear anything and about it. She'd been doing the damn thing for what thirty plus years yeah. in the biz. Lizzo's been around for two years, three years yeah. maybe. That ain't long, bro. They will forget your name so quick, and you'll you won't be big and beautiful anymore. You'll just be a health risk. Yeah. That's all you are. You're a walking health risk, and I mean it, it's it's kind of. In its own way, it's satisfying to see their them eat their own so oh, quickly. Yeah. But at the same time, if you were a good person, or if you had made any actual, you know, dent or done anything good for the world, except for just taking and taking, like it seems like you did, yeah, I feel bad for you. But unfortunately, this is not one of those cases. I don't recall her ever doing any charity work. I pretty much just well, again, if, even if he did, it was all a facade. Because if you're doing charity work and you're treating the normal people, it's like, what's the number one rule of like a first date or getting to know somebody or going out to dinner? What's the number one rule if you go to dinner with somebody? Now, the best way to judge their character is what? How, how they treat the waiter. Or waiter. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's how you treat people who are below your station. How you treat regard. people who can offer you nothing. Right. 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 So... Who can't do anything. So clearly, if you're willing to do that to people that are helping you perform, yeah. just at a lower level than you, what are you doing to a guy on the street? What are you doing to a, a fan? What are you doing to anybody else? It seems like you're very into yourself. And in this case, it seems justified to sit back and watch them eat you alive. Because yeah. when you're their darling... Ask Elon. The only thing, if you have an exit trajectory like Elon does, if you can make your own way, you don't need them. Yeah. The thing you fucked up was you didn't have an exit trajectory. You don't have enough clout to just exist without them because you don't really offer much other than just derivative bullshit of an art. So you're done. Yeah. And it's going to be fun to watch it happen. And, you know, the lesson for the rest of us is, is, is that French Revolution lesson and why... People with that particular mentality can never be allowed to have power because the progressive mindset, and this is where the word progressive comes from, progress, right? It's the concept of progress. It's always this amorphous, ill-defined, you know, nebulous blob that they always say, well, we want progress. Well, what is progress? When you try to pin them down and get them to explain it, they can never give you a definitive answer. And that's not a bug, that's a feature because... What underlies their flowery language about we want progress, we want progress, is constant change as long as they're always the ones dictating where the change goes. Because if they say, look, we achieved progress on this thing, they'll say, that's great. Now we need progress here, and then here, and then here, and then here, and then here, and then, and then it just never stops. Never woke enough. And the reason why it never stops and why I say it's a feature, not a bug, is because they are totalitarians at their very core. They want to control everything and they never want an endpoint. This is why progressives can never give you an endpoint. It's always progressing to something else. Because as long as there's always something else to push for, there's another program, there's another regulation, there's another rule, there's another trench that they can line you up in front of or another guillotine they can put you under to, that's justified because you weren't sufficiently down with the agenda of the next step in the progress. And so that's why these people can never have power. Lizzo is going to experience this firsthand at how unloyal uh, these people are and when she's no longer useful to them. But for the rest of us, watch this episode, learn from the lessons of history and take heed. Never, ever, ever let people that have that worldview and espouse it and hold it sincerely anywhere near the levers of power. History has taught us that lesson again and again. Or if the only lesson you take away from this is treat your weight staff better, so be it. That is well. <laughs> anyway, that's a good action I mean, item for the end I of the mean, show. Hey, just know. start with the next time you're at Chili's and be like, hey, you know what? You did great tonight. You yeah. Us, yeah, the margarita was a little, you know, a little weak, but you know what? That's not your fault. You did a great job. Have a great night. Here's a nice tip. That's <laughs> all so you have to do. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. Just be fucking human for once.